I will create a route link to view the file in the folder when the folder is clicked. In the JS route resource, I will configure a route list file. When I click on folder, it will go to the file list page of the folder ID I just clicked. I will call the API to the backend to get the files under this folder ID. The getDAM method is an asynchronous function that uses the Axios library to send a get request to a server API endpoint. The endpoint URL is constructed using the route params ID property, which is a route parameter that contains a unique identifier for the data being requested. If the request is successful, the response data is stored in the data variable using object destructuring. If an error occurs during the request, the error is caught and logged to the console using the console log method. I will create a route get file slash get data slash ID with ID as folder ID and create a file controller for data retrieval.
I will get the data from the files table where forder ID is equal to the ID submitted from the client and order by in the latest order. Okay, the file list has been displayed. At Payout App, I will handle the hiding of the search button. If on the home page, the button will be to create search. If on the file list page, the button will be Edit Forder. When this button is clicked, we'll move to the Edit Forder page. I will create an edit page folder. This page is similar to create so I will copy it. At edit I will have to get the information the forder wants to edit through the API call and post back to forder ID. I will create a route and functions at the Forder controller for handling the display of the old data and changing the new data.
similar to create. I will perform input validation and query update. If the update is successful, I will be redirected to the home page. Okay, the folder name has been changed successfully. Now I will create a delete button to delete this folder. I will also create a route and a function at the controller to handle the delete for it. In addition to deleting Forder, I will have to delete the files uploaded in public. I will select all rows from the files table where the Forder ID column matches the value of the dollar ID variable. The next iterate over each row returned by the previous query using a for each loop and delete the corresponding file from the server using the unlink function. The path to the file is constructed using the name generate column from the database. When deleting a folder, I will have to delete all the files at the folder that I want to delete. Okay, I have done the delete folder function. See you in the next video. Bye.